Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome back to F1 Manager 23. Tonight it's round nine and potentially the final round of this season uh, as we head to Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. So as the title suggests, this is potentially the end of an era tonight. Uh, we could be ending our McLaren playthrough uh, after this race. Uh, there is uh, just a couple of hours left for you to cast your vote as to whether or not we continue this series or do a hard reboot and start over with a brand new hardcore series from day one. Uh, that vote will be uh, determined at the end of this uh, this race tonight so in about two and a half maybe three hours time and uh, we will then read out the result live and that will determine as i say whether or not this continues or we start with a brand new series on monday uh, from day one of season one uh, with a low ranked team uh, with all the hard difficulty settings all the way up so yeah we shall see how that goes anyway uh, back to tonight uh, we are coming off the back of a very, very good result in Barcelona. Uh, a very comfortable win in the end for Lando Norris. And uh, now we have the chance to uh, maybe end this series on a, on a high note as well. Uh, we've got 11 days until the next Grand Prix. Do we have any parts due to drop in time? No, is the answer. These two will not be ready for this Grand Prix. Um, we do have some spares that are currently being manufactured. That is all as expected. We've got about four million in the bank. Uh, there's not really any point spending any money just yet because we don't know what's going on. So we'll uh, just advance some time. We've got the memorabilia room upgraded now to level four. There is the spare chassis and the spare front wing. So we now have four chassis and four front wings. Uh, just a warning about side pods. Yep, that's fine. Okay. And we have our uh, end of month financial report as well. So. Let's have a look at our finances, see how we're doing against the cost cap first of all. Uh, we spent half our budget, uh, so we've got 68 million remaining in the cost cap, and that's mostly just going to be on research from this point onwards, you know, if we do continue, uh, because of the huge changes to the regulations at the end of this season. Uh, we have an update uh, on our driver's progress. Uh, so you can see an improvement to cornering and braking for Esteban Ocon, getting a point in each of those. An improvement in braking by a point for Lando. And Felipe improves his adaptability by a point as well. Uh, in terms of the rest of the grid, Mercedes have upgraded their uh, wind tunnel. And Alfa Romeo are just saying, you know, we're doing crap and we know it. Uh, we also have a check-in from the board. They have high confidence in our leadership. And, uh, yeah, well, it's not surprising when you look at our results. We have kept our uh, finances under control this season. Uh, we are well on target for our uh, season objective, which is to finish sixth in the constructors. We're already we're second at the moment, and we've already fulfilled the long-term objective, which was to get six podiums in a single season. Uh, the end of target season was 2026. We've already done that uh, with uh, two seasons to go, as you can see. Uh, or one season, you know, one and a half seasons still to go. So that's all good. Uh, let's get the pit crew uh, trained up. Now, I was asked about this last night. Uh, so this will be a great chance to kind of give a little tutorial on uh, setting up the, uh, the pit crew to try and make sure that they do improve a little bit. Uh, so as we uh, start this month, you can see the pit crew is very much in the weary category. So we need them to come down. Uh, in terms of fatigue before the start of the Canadian Grand Prix because that will go up on each day and uh, it looks as though we can't actually avoid 
any um, loss of performance uh, in terms of a chance of mistake going up that is going to be a factor going into Canada the me mechanics are just a little bit too tired unfortunately so they will stay in the weary category which means we've got a 19% chance of a pit stop mistake which isn't great uh, it is uh, normally a bit less than that as you can see it's normally about 7% uh, but because they're into that weary category of over 50% fatigue it is going to significantly impact them uh, so all we can do now is plan for the remaining uh, races of the month and make sure that we are well and truly you know rested before they go into uh, Austria and then Silverstone so uh, let's start by throwing in a load of pit training we're gonna go with some gym training to uh, reduce pit stop times our uh, skill threshold is very high at the moment as I say 7% is the uh, is the standard kind of chance of a mistake so we can kind of just throw everything into uh, speed training and let's see what those four days of solid training has done well as you can see the day before the Grand Prix the fatigue is at zero so we can keep throwing in more uh, gym training like this and now let's have another look and now they are still in the well rested but at 23% fatigue so as we go into day one of uh, practice one and two you can see they go into the tired category and then day two which is practice three and quali they go up to 43% and then race day they actually go above 50% again which again further increases that chance of a mistake so let's take half a day off and see if that is enough it's not quite that's a 51 percent. so if we take that day out completely you can see when we get to race day we're now at uh, zero chance of uh, well we're not going to increase that chance of a mistake we'll still be at seven and a half percent which is ideal uh, so now we need to look at maybe seeing if we can squeeze some more in here as well and uh, we've got maybe scope for one day of training Yeah, one day, and then that gets us to 48% fatigue. And if we go that little bit further, that is going to tip us over the edge. So uh, that is it for this month's training. Uh, apart from we'll throw in some uh, gym training after Silverstone as well. There we go. Uh, and that is how we go ahead and plan our uh, pick crew training. Right, uh, what is next? Uh, advancing time is what's next. So we have uh, spare suspensions now. Excellent stuff. Let's check we've actually got those on the car. We do. Uh, let's check the chassis. Yep. Uh, front wing is still the original. Rear wings are sorted. Side pods. Yep. Underfloors. Yep. And we've just done suspensions. So all the parts are ready. Uh, monthly car de uh, development shows where we currently stand on the grid. We have dipped a little bit from the last race, so our acceleration is now 11th. Uh, our DRS is 9th. Uh, cornering 8th, 11th and 5th. It's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. We've got a very strong top speed still. Uh, dirty air cornering is not amazing. Uh, it's 13, 13 and 11th, so... You know, we could struggle in a couple of corners to stay close. Brake cooling is, is okay. Engine cooling is average. And the underfloor is done. So let's go ahead and start manufacturing that just in case we do carry on. We're going to go with four underfloors because that will be the final underfloor of the year for us. And we have completed the research project on the chassis as well. So we've got two slots left to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> throw in some more research. <clears throat> so let's start with an underfloor because we know that um, we're not doing another one of these this year. Uh, let's see. So we want that to be increased. And we kind of also want to improve... the areas that are a bit weaker as well 
So you can see low speed is only 55%, 65 for the others. And airflow is also 65%. So yeah, we'll go with that and uh, see how that works. And we'll throw two engineers on that and get that project started. And then we'll do another one on, let's see, we've done a chassis already. We haven't done a rear wing yet, but we might do another rear wing project. We'll do another suspension because we're not going to do any more of those. Uh, so again, we want to uh, make sure that that is maxed because uh, it's going to take the biggest hits. And that one as well. And that one. And that one not so much. And that one not so much. There we go. And again, throw two engineers on that. And get that one underway. There we go. Job done. Right. Time to set some objectives for tonight's race. Let's start off with qualifying targets. So... Uh, hopefully we'll have a strong qualifying again. Uh, we're going to go two in the top ten tonight and get both into Q2. The incentive is to get one car into Q3. Uh, fastest lap is the incentive for race targets. We are going to try and get both to finish in the points. And finish position streak, two in the top 14 for two races. We're halfway through that and we've just started our quali streak. Alright, let's head to Canada. Formula One has arrived here in Quebec, and we're excited to get underway. On a man-made island in the heart of Montreal is Canada's Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. This unique track circles the outline of the Ile Notre Dame, giving plenty of challenges to our drivers between the tight corners and a long final straight. With a flat-out section of over a kilometre in Sector 3, Circuit Gilles Villeneuve is a track that asks, who dares break last? And that means it's tough on tyres and brake temperatures the whole way round. Lando Norris delivered for his team in the last race and will head into this weekend with plenty of confidence. Can the Brit bring it home in this round too? Stay with us then as the weekend gets underway. All right, I never actually looked at the weather, and we have very heavy rain on Friday, uh, but it will be dry for Saturday and Sunday. So with that in mind, let's put soft tyres on the car for session one. Let's choose some setups. We're going to go with uh, 21 laps of fuel. Drop down that pace, and we'll start with a 3, 12. A37, a 3.05, and a 0.45. And let's also swap out those uh, good engine bits for the not so good engine bits. Okay. So that's Ocon taken care of. Now let's sort out Norris. We're going to go again 21 laps of fuel. Drop down that pace. Swap out the parts. There we go. And for his setup, we will go with a four, a twelve. A 2.8, a 3.15, and a 0.85. There we go. All right, let's send them to the track and see what the weather's going to look like. All right, we are going to get uh, some rain in the session. We might get some feedback, but probably not all feedback before the rain hits. got Packins in chat as well as John and Steve. Good to see you guys. Yep, Steve made the classic rookie mistake of uh, running out of fuel. <laughs> yep, I've done that. Loud and clear. It's uh, it's always annoying when that happens. 
Famously, I did that at Monaco in our Aston Martin Challenge Mode series, and both cars ran out of fuel right on the line, and just, well, just fraction before the line, and neither car finished. They both stopped literally meters from the end of the Grand Prix. So I was not happy with it. <laughs> So, yes, uh, let's have an update on the uh, current position of the poll. That's 69 votes, and it is 38% to continue with McLaren, 62% to start over with the Hardcore Series. Uh, as I say, that vote will continue until the end of this Grand Prix, and from that point we will then take a look and see what the final result is and whether or not we start the hardcore next week. It's looking like that is going to be the case. It looks like this is going to be the end of an era tonight. Uh, in which case, there'll be a new poll over the weekend which will enable you to decide which team we run with at the start of hardcore mode. You'll have a choice of three. And uh, that will go up, you know, if necessary, that will go up tonight after the end of this, this stream tonight. Uh, one thing I will say though is that if we do end up starting over, uh, it won't be completely the end of this. I will be looking at We've maybe doing a, a little highlight here. reel um, for the remaining races. Um, in my spare time, just so you can see what would have happened if we'd stayed car you know, carried on. So there may still yet be a, uh, a world championship for Lando Norris. And who knows, you know, um, we may well be with McLaren next week with the start of our new hardcore uh, series. Rain, you know, McLaren, Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri will be the three teams you'll be able to choose from. They are ranked 8th, ninth, and 10th on the grid. Uh, so it'll be uh, up to you guys as to which one of those teams to go with. balance how's balance looks pretty good That's okay we are at 71% with Esteban that is not great we managed to toughen out for the rain so we're just running for a few more minutes till the rain becomes a bit untenable and then we'll call them in just try and get that little bit of extra track knowledge because it's a measly 8% at the moment uh, and hopefully we can get Norris's feedback in as well before we have to call him in uh, evening Farrah Okay, understood. Checking now. How's the track? Uh, let's call lock on in at this point. We'll keep Lando out just for another moment or two. Oh, we've got Any his feedback. And he is at 86%, so, so we'll call him in as well. Copy. Right, starting with Norris. Okay. We need to dial back, potentially, the roll bar. Or we could push it, actually, to a 1.9. Uh, and I think pushing it back, or pulling it back to a 3.7 is probably the smarter move. Let's put him on the on the strategy we just tried, or the setup we just tried on Ocon. So we'll go with a 3, a 12, a 3.7, a 3.05, and a 0.45. 
that isn't going to work. Uh, okay, let's try something a bit different then. Let's go with a 2.5, a 12, a 4.6, bear with me on this, uh, a 3, and a 0.35. Oh, and that's definitely not going to work. Uh, okay, let's go back to the 3.7. That's not going to work either. Okay, I'm pretty much out of... Uh, ...compatible setups on this, uh, I think. definitely not going to work. Uh, all right, uh, I'm going to have to wing this one. So let's wing it with a 1.9, I suppose, and drop that up to a 5, because we haven't got a 5. That's not going to work. Uh, okay, pull that back. It's, it's not going to be a, it's going to be a 3.7, I think. Five. Let's try that. Medically. Sleeper track. Give me a tech to tech sheet. Confirm. Okay, this one needs a bit of work. So uh, I'm going to dial this to an 11.5 on the rear wing. Uh, let's see what we can do on the front. Let's go with a 4.5. I'm going to go with a 1.9, a 3.15, and a 1. It's a bit extreme. Let's dial that back to a 0.9. Everything there looks about right, except for maybe the cornering. So let me just do that. Let's try that. How long is this rain going to last for? Uh, well, pretty much the rest of the session. So we'll need to switch over to Inters as well once these configurations are finished. And there we go. Let's see if those changes are the right way to go. So the news coming in from City Skylines 2 on PC is that it is not running well at all. Even with, you know, a good rig, it is apparently still running like a, a dog's dinner. I saw one stupid describe it as uh, an asthmatic hippo on three legs. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I was really hoping it would launch in a slightly better state than it apparently is in. Uh, I mean, performance-wise, it seems to be the issue. Everything seems to work well. It's just the performance is terrible. Really not well optimized at all. Obviously, that is going to improve over the coming the balance, weeks and months. Yeah, but, I mean, if it's that bad on PC, I can only imagine just how bad it would have been on console. Which makes me extremely glad that they have uh, decided to postpone that till next year because uh, it's going to take them a while to fix the PC version um, and so I dread to think how bad the, the console version would have been literally unplayable I would imagine
Oh, Kerbal Space Program 2 is on consoles. Sure it is. Sure I've seen that in the store a number of times now. But on, on sales for the PS5. No rain expected. Confirm. Eighty-one percent for Norris. So still some work to do with him. We're at ninety-four percent with uh, Ocon, so we're yeah, almost yeah, there. Happy. Okay, copy. Let's just try and extend the stints a little bit if we can. Weather update: This rain has stopped. Evening, Mr. Walker. Update on track conditions. Dry line appearing now. And no more rain expected. Let me know on track conditions. Yeah, confirm. And now we can call in Norris and Ocon won't be too far behind. There we go. I'm just going to search this on, on the app. Because I'm sure Kerbal is uh, on PS5. Uh, no, just um, Enhanced Edition. Yeah, I could have sworn... Kerbal 2 was uh, was on there as well. My bad. I, I sit corrected. Okay, so we need some minor tweaks here. Let's go with a uh, 3.15. Let's go to a 3.2, just push that up to a 9, see how that works. Does it need to be a massive change? Might be a little bit too much, but we'll try it. Uh, we're going to go with uh, 28 laps of fuel, but we may have rain again. So we're going with medium tyres in this session, and we'll save the hards for practice 3, when there will be no rain. Take a look at the Lando. Uh, okay, so definitely the wrong way with the front wings. So that needs to be somewhere around about here. Uh, do, do, do roll bar. Let's try. Yeah, let's try the three seven. That's looking okay. Uh, we do need to pull that back like that. Need to correct that as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. And run plan again. We'll go 28 laps of fuel. Drop those settings down. Someone's car alarm is going off in the background. I'll send them out. Uh, oh, no, I was going to say, and I'll mute until the alarm goes off, and the alarm has gone off. Evening, Victor. Yeah, I, I saw when Kerbal first came out, I, I looked at it, I thought, I don't know, I'm furious, but I just don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. And I've just never taken the plunge to try it. to check the weather. Oh, that's bad. It's bad. That is uh, very, very wet. I 
and it's about to get wetter. Update on track conditions when you... Land the Be careful, slippery, bit well. Confirm. I love how uh, weary he sounds there. It's just like, yeah, yeah, okay, still okay. Still okay. <laughs> Confirm. It's going to be full wets because it's going to be full wet weather in just a moment. Ah, we went the wrong way. So let's go there instead. gets. Oh, very wet. <laughs> Still going up. There we go, it's just about peaking. Ah, there's scope for it to get wetter. Oh wow, look at that, 100% heavy rain. <laughs> And that's what it looks like from the cockpit. Can we see what it looks like behind someone else? Uh, let's see. The closest to a back marker would be one of the alphas. Joe. pretty damp. I do kind of wish the spray effect in this kind of condition was more intense than that though. You know, it, in, like, in all likelihood you really wouldn't be able to see that car in front <laughs> at all. You might just see the occasional flashing red light. Um, through, well, you would see the flashing red light because that's what they're designed for, but you wouldn't see the back of the car, really. You'd just see this wall of spray. And you certainly wouldn't see the ghost of the car in front at all. So it'd be nice if uh, in future iterations that we actually do get proper heavy rain, but we'll see. Right, let's wait for the feedback. Water is now starting to uh, recede a little. We are 
close to feedback with Ocon. Ninety-four percent. So still not where we need to be. Okay. Uh, let's call him in. We're just having broken running sessions in the first two sessions anyway because of the rain. So we may as well call him in, get some more you know, partial feedback on a setup. Maybe if we're lucky, full feedback on this next attempt. And then we can do a, a, continu a long continuous run on the hard tyres to get the uh, track knowledge up. Cornering cannot go any further that way, so the cornering's got to come back. So I'm going to try the cornering at a 3.2. And I guess I'll just leave it like that. Still waiting on Norris's final bit of feedback. There it is, 97. That's more like it. Uh, we just missed him getting into the pits. So we'll do another lap. Something's happening. We'll come back to you. Landipole. Sleepy pit lane, be careful. Yeah. And it is just the front wing that we need to uh, tweak. So, which way do I go? I'm going to go to a 3.5. And then we'll correct the toe and camber. Like so. And we'll give that a go. And let's go out with those medium tyres that we used earlier, maybe? Oh shit, we used the hard tyres, didn't we? Never mind. All right, well, we'll go back on the hards and we'll use the mediums in the next session. They'll last long enough. I forgot to change his tyres. Did the mediums with Ocon, though. There we go. Yeah, that track water is coming down very quickly, so I'm just going to send them out and hope they don't bin it. very slow against the rest of the grid and then he's suddenly going to be very quick against the rest of the grid no more rain yeah confirm So out of curiosity, I had a look at Kong on the PlayStation Store last night to see what its rating was, and uh, yeah, I was quite shocked to discover that it's launched with a 25% discount already for PlayStation Plus members, dropping it down to about 33 quid. Uh, yeah, that would be £25. <laughs> uh, brand new, without PlayStation Plus. Gobsmacked is, uh, is the phrase, I think, that springs to mind. So, what partial feedback did we manage to get? Uh, it's still not there. Ugh, this is uh, frustrating, you know. I can't go any further across that way. 
all I can do is that and hope that that's going to fix it, uh, which I don't know if it is. Uh, we'll go with the hard tyres. Uh, we'll go with a 30, 36 lap run of fuel. mediums for Norris and he wants to run for about the same 36 laps we've already had a look at his changes they're not working either uh, maybe it's a 2.5 then So no more rain this weekend. Okay. Or at least not here anyway. Still a bucket load of rain here in reality. This, uh, the storm sweeps the nation. It's rained pretty much non-stop for the last few days now. Lots of parts of uh, Nottinghamshire have been flooded, as have other parts of the country. There's been red warnings in Scotland, and a couple of people have lost their lives, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, pretty big storm. We've gone backwards with Ocon. The bounce was really good. Copy that. All right. Oh, this is frustrating me. All right, let's pull that down to a four. already tried that setup but <laughs> we'll see uh, we'll see what happens the pit limiter in the pit lane. struggling with these setups tonight uh, just stopping the marks please update when you can ah oh, there we go Norris has pretty much got it we're only uh, one away we're gonna call him in Copy understood. just so we can make sure we at least nail one of these two cars Job done. And now I'm wondering actually, is Ocon's gearbox gonna last? Two percent. Should just about make it, I hope.
one percent. What's gonna happen first? Are we gonna get feedback or or smoke? No, no smoke. Maybe you only get the smoke from the engine. Man alive, are we slow <laughs> as a result? <laughs> Look at that, we're three seconds a lap slower than uh, Norris. And that's maybe just down to the fact that the gearbox is toast. drivers to just let other cars through in practice. It always worries me when we start holding up trains like this because you just know that someone eventually is going to lock up and cause massive damage in their desperation to try and find a way through. There we go. Still not there. Ninety-five <laughs> percent. Uh, I give up. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get anywhere near where we need to be. Let's just get him to a hundred on his track knowledge and call him in. Just stop in front of our garage. Then you stop in front of our garage. As opposed to someone else's garage. <laughs> uh, okay, it, it's going to have to be a five. It's the only thing I can think of. Um, and even that's a bit of a risk. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to leave it like that. See what happens. Uh, in quality. Any feedback on the car? There we go. So let me check this one in the book. So two point five, twelve, three, seven. Don't have that. Add that in. Get the pen to work. Might help. There we go. Haven't used it in a while. 3.2 and a 0.7. Ready for quality. Will practice pay off for the drivers? Well, we're about to find out 
in qualifying. The circuit Gilles Villeneuve isn't a permanent track, so circuit evolution is high over the Grand Prix weekend. Overtaking is possible, but getting a well-timed lap in qualifying will help any driver. Esteban Ocon there, Karun. What's the feeling around him at the moment? There's a huge gulf in quality between them and their teammate right now. There's no way that they're not feeling the pressure of that. What does today have in store? Only time will tell. So we're going to start by swapping out those uh, really knackered, worn out parts. We're going to go with the 80% engine, the new-ish ERS unit, and that gearbox will be fine. And over here, on this side of the garage, again, the 80% engine will be fine, the 94% ERS, and the 93% gearbox. All right, let's go with two flying laps of fuel just to make sure that we can get a solid time through, but we should get through session one relatively comfortably. And let's send them out to the track. Albon on track as well as Giovinazzi and Stroll, also exiting the garage. Let's see if anyone else jumps out in front of us. And track is now clear. Track is clear, track is clear, and charge button off, charge button off, full last corner. Anything handy? Our season's going reasonably well, although it might be coming to a screeching halt tonight. has the edge in the first sector. is going to do a 1.11.0, not a bad lap, and a 1.10.9 for Norris, so less than a tenth between, oh just over a tenth between the two drivers, that's pretty good. In the 
Alpine say who's easier to develop? There is no driver that is easier to develop in for a particular team. But what I would say is if you want to theme your saves a little bit, obviously Alpine being a French team, they've got two French drivers. Uh, Victor Martins is a French driver. Go with him. Sophia Plersch is German. Uh, Nicolas Soloff. Um, not sure on his nationality. Can't remember. Uh, Jack Dewan is obviously Australian. And Gabrielli Mini is uh, Italian. Farah's relationship with Lewis has never been stronger, seeing as Lewis is not in the game anymore. <laughs> or at least not for tonight, anyway. He might be back <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> right, Paris has gone quicker than Norris. Ocon improves in Sector 1. Now Verstappen goes even quicker. And Norris improves in Sector 1. Uh, what's happened? Uh, there's a vote been going on all week on the channel, uh, on the community tab, to determine whether or not we're uh, sticking with this or doing a hard reset and going onto a hardcore stream. And at the moment, the hardcore is looking like it's going to be the winner. The results will be announced after the race tonight. I won't be managing him, though. Well, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Alfa Romeo want to reunite the dream team of Bottas and Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardcore? It'll basically just be starting over, but with the hard on from day one and with a, a rubbish team. So we'll have to really work for it to get you know, anywhere. At the moment, you are P3, P3. That was a good lap. Maybe McLaren want to bring Lewis home. All right, let's take a look at our confidence levels. Uh, peak confidence and peak confidence. Excellent stuff. We're not going to do another run this session, but it's good to know that we can get there. Uh, we are uh, lacking in pace a little bit to... Max, no surprise, but also to Perez, which, again, given his performance in the last couple of races, is not that surprising either. So, based purely on what we're seeing so far in Q1, the win might be a little bit beyond us without intervention. Depends how well we can manage our race strategy. Even in Barrett. But who knows? Podium might be up there. Uh, Sonoda, just two thousandths of a second slower than Norris. And going out for another lap now. And here we've got a yellow flag. Another spin for Teo. Things were going smoothly. And until the they were. And the just goes. <laughs> and there's not much they can do about that now. Now Sainz is, uh, sorry, Perez. Yeah, Sainz is up there now above Norris. Norris is uh, error 404, pole not found. Back on those same tyres. Uh, and uh, Norris is fine. And we got it with Ocon in the end. Woo! <laughs> we finally got there. Uh, let's give him two flying laps in this session as well. Same for Norris.
obviously such a painful exit from the pit lane. You need to learn the gears? Yeah, confirm. And track is clear, track clear. Tire is on off for last corner. Right with Norris, see so if you can get a nice little slipstream from the back of that Ferrari. Probably not, it already looks a little bit too far up the road. And it is the quickest car on track right now. Norris goes purple in the middle. I might even remove McLaren from the vote as well. I might make it just between Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri. Because while their car is bad, McLaren have uh, a very strong driver in Norris, although a not so strong driver in Piastri. And they have good facilities and decent staff. So yeah, I might make it just between Alfa and Alfa. I am leaning personally towards Alpha Tauri, so I can try and stick it to Red Bull. Make the sister team better than the, uh, the main team. Shouldn't be anyone in front that will back you up. Traffic. Right, potential LDP, traffic Bolt issue from Norris. With that, uh, that Mercedes, I think it mixed up. That Mercedes coming out of the garage. I think we just about managed to get through without being held up. Ocon is improving, which is good because he needs to find some improvement. Norris does not improve. But Norris is probably safe, so that's not really a biggie. Soloff is Bulgarian. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember. Um... I had a feeling he was Eastern European, but I couldn't remember exactly which nationality. You are currently P6. Ocon is still P6, and I don't think he improved at all in the end. At the moment, uh, we are P2, so that's a good lap time. No, he didn't. It was actually three thousandths slower. A poor final sector let him down there. All right, so we might need to run Ocon again. Let's give him some fresh tyres and just one lap of fuel. He is in peak confidence, which is good. And we'll stand by to send him out. 
Got to imagine Sonoda's going to improve. Schumacher coming out behind us. And that could be an issue. Don't want him getting a slipstream. Oh wait, we've got a rebel right behind us. Is that a rebel on an inlap? Yes, it is. Okay, so that will probably work to our advantage a little bit. Um, might slow down Schumacher slightly as he exits uh, or enters the uh, final of the game. is now clear. Okay, so Russell, Porsche, Albon and Ricardo are also on flying laps as well as uh, Schumacher and us. Improving in the first. Albon's coming up. Nope. Yeah, Albon crossing the line. Maybe. Is that Albon? If it is, he hasn't improved. Here come the Mercedes. That is the checkered flag. Can't see who's behind Mercedes. Oh, it's Albon was behind the Mercedes, I think. Uh, Stroll has advanced. Russell is safe. Porsche is out. Bottas is out. Ricardo in the final turn. We are probably safe now. Yeah, we are safe. So both cars into Q3. That is good stuff. It's still a little off the pace of the front runners. Let's do one lap on these tyres. We have seen better days. And then we'll do two laps on uh, fresher tyres. Just to get a baseline time in. We'll whiz through this lap. The 111 zero and uh, a 111 four. Ooh. That was a good lap. So here we go, 96% tires. They will be more than good enough for two flying laps. Lando Pillane. And we need speed limiter on, speed limiter on. And uh, stop on the marks. Okay.
going out behind Gasly. Interesting. Right, let's uh, ride on board with Ocon for the first lap. And then Norris for the second. And we need a good warm up on the brakes. Go first. Track is clear, track clear. Just out of peak confidence at the moment. And that should put us in. It does. Excellent stuff. improves in his first sector as well. No improvement in the middle for Rock on though. That's a little disappointing. Let's have a good final sector. Personal best and a purple sector for Norris in the middle. Ocon improved. No, he didn't. Again. Norris did, though. Norris has shot up. He is now just a tenth off pole position. Potentially going to hit some traffic on this uh, second flying lap with uh, Ocon and potentially Norris as well. Gasly in front should peel out of the way as we uh, start flying down the back straight. At the beginning of the next lap. Because he will be boxing. And we have got two more cars coming out of the pits in front of our contest. There'll be no one ahead. Watch for traffic. Charge that on oh, great. We've got someone coming out of the pits. going to be right in front of uh, Norris as well. It's one of the Williams. Ah, we have lift in the... That's not good. Ocon gets past the Ferrari without any drama. I'm not expecting to see an improvement from Norris in Sector 1. No improvement from an Ocon either. This might be it for both drivers. Oh, Ocon has improved in the middle. Gonna have a clean final sector. Right, what can Norris do? No improvement in the middle. I think Norris has peaked. He's 
seven. He's seven at the moment. And we are boxers lap. Copy. There we go. P7 and P3. So, uh, yeah, P3. Let's see if anyone else improves. So far we have Stroll on a flying lap. And Schumacher. Once again, Yuki Tsunoda did not make it through, but Schumacher did. Schumacher stays 10th. So it's now down to whether Stroll is going to get above Ocon. Uh, Russell and Sainz have got a chance to jump above Norris. They are right behind Stroll. Well, Sainz is. Stroll does not improve, so Sainz also does not improve. What about Russell? Can Russell get ahead? No, he can't. He's blocked. <laughs> He's blocked by Norris. So no improvement for Russell. So there we go. It's Red Bull 1 and 2. Norris is 3rd. Perez 4th. Russell 5th. Sainz 6th. Ocon in 7th. Stroll 8th. Gasly 9th. And Schumacher in 10th. If both of our drivers are running 1st and 2nd on a street circuit with fast cars and fresh tyres approaching, then would you have your drivers give DRS to the um, other, just like in Singapore? Um... Probably, yeah, it would make them easier to defend. It's not a guarantee, though. Race day has arrived, and the time has almost come for these drivers to fight it out, wheel to wheel. Named after the legendary Canadian driver, the circuit Gilles Villeneuve has been host to plenty of first-time winners. Jean Alesi, Lewis Hamilton, Robert Kubica, and Daniel Ricciardo all got their maiden victories here. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. And each team will be hoping that fortune is on their side. So bon chance to them and their drivers for this Canadian Grand Prix. All right, let's have a look at strategy. Uh, one stop, I think, is viable here. It is. Soft to medium. Okay, let's take uh, three laps of fuel out. Crank the pace a little bit. And we'll go aggressive with the battery for the first few corners of the lap, just to see if we can sneak a position. I wish you could have watched Senna and Prost. Yeah, I did grow up watching Senna and Prost. That was uh, feisty. Seventy laps of the Canadian Grand Prix await our drivers here in Montreal. Many people here and at home are wondering what the Haas driver can do. While I imagine many are looking at the other end of the grid. I'm keen to see what they can achieve from P19. This should certainly be a good one, folks. 
The drivers are ready and raring to go. It's the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Oh, contact behind us. I heard the shunt. And now we've had a crash. Yeah, collision with uh, Sonoda and... Ricardo? Snow's got a penalty. <laughs> Norris is struggling to keep pace with the Red Bulls at the moment. Connie's struggling to keep pace with Stroll. Let's have recharge on then, please. Yeah, of course. We can save a little bit of battery. Snado, uh, Snado, <laughs> Snoda and Ricardo and, uh, both into the box for repairs and change of tyres. In a bit, we gave Ricardo and Sonoda a uh, power couple name there, Sonado. to just about drop Perez. Let's make sure we so do make decline. sure that stays the case yeah, and okay. also that we don't get dropped by Leclerc. And so at the moment we have P3. Is Hamilton the GOAT? Um, it's very difficult to compare drivers from different eras because the cars were so very different. You know, so different driving styles were needed. You know, um, equipment was very different. You know, there is no straightforward way to compare drivers across eras or any sportsman across different eras for that matter just because the way the game is played changes so much but he's certainly the greatest of the modern era I would say the last 20 30 years and I say that you know as a, uh, a fan of Schumacher, I think he did just have the edge over Schumacher. Press, I would take. Copy. But then, if Alonso had not made some questionable career choices and always managed to uh, go to a team at the worst possible time, then who knows what he could have achieved.
and Norris has been passed by Perez. We just didn't have the pace. Um, even you know, expelling the battery, we just couldn't keep pace with the Red Bulls. Um, so we'll try and stay tucked in behind uh, Perez for a bit. Ocon has moved up to P7. Now he's going to sit and tuck in behind the other Ferrari, hopefully. Slowly start to rebuild those batteries. Discussed Abu Dhabi 2021 at length in the past. I'm not going to relitigate that now. Yeah, there's no point. It's not going to change anything. Recharge on. Yeah, it could be. All I'll say is that the cycle will always be tainted with, you know, the stain of controversy. You know, there's, you can't deny, you know, Hamilton was hard done by with the way things played out, but you also can't deny that the system had a phenomenal season that year and was, you know, a worthy champion. Just the circumstances that came about how that cycle was decided were disgraceful and have forever marred that, that title with controversy. There will always be an asterisk next to that title. Which is a shame because, you know, regardless of your feelings about Max as a driver, you can't argue his, and his talent and okay, he was a worthy yeah. champion. It's just the way it came out was wrong. Stand of officiating on, on. in uh, 2021 was, uh, you know, so inconsistent. And that's, that's the problem, that's the real shame of it. It was such an amazing season. You know, it was such a great fight all the way through. And then it was just ruined by such a controversial ending to the season. It completely ruined the season for me. You know, I, I would easily have accepted, you know, Max winning if it had been done cleanly on track with no controversy of the safety car at the end. You know, it's, like I said, such an amazing season. The best season we'd had in a very long time, absolutely ruined because of, uh, you know, poor officiating. Copy that. Oh, good chance actually to uh, to steal it from the Ferrari here. Let's keep pushing then. And overtake is available. Copy it up. And we got him. Very nice. Let's uh, push on with Norris. See if we can. Uh, Push past the old Ferrari. Recharge. 
magical. And we need to increase pushing status. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. Confirm. And recharge on now is okay, please. Time to push on these tires. We're not going to break away from uh, Perez, I don't think. Not unless we really go for it. Let's see if we can break him in the next uh, sector. onto the back of Russell. We're almost onto the back of Leclerc. We've almost caught the Red Bulls. We'll kill our battery to do it, but we might, if we're lucky, just squeeze into the back of them. Stay close. his confidence up. I was going to say he's on a fastest lap attempt here, but it's just run out of battery, so it might not go the distance. And we have dropped off the back, so we're going to need to just be careful with this tyre. Let the Ferrari through, I think. Try and rebuild the battery again. And Norris cannot set the fastest lap in the end. Just didn't have the pace in the final sector. We are going to keep pushing, see if we can get back onto uh, Leclerc before the end of our battery again. We suggest a little bit more, Michael. Okay? Charge button on, charge button on. Okay. Alright, we've made it. Now we've got to try and stay there. And charge button on, charge button on. And Russell has made the move past Perez now. And we've got a yellow flag. Single yellow. Oh, Paris has crashed at the hairpin. Broken his front wing. Uh, yeah. Norris is out of the DRS again already. Try and stay in if we can. And charge button on, please. Confirm. Ah, it's so frustrating to be just that little bit slow.
have recharge on them, please. Copy that. If you can, push. Copy that. Yeah, we couldn't get back in DRS. Uh, right, we might just have to let that Change one go, okay, unfortunately. What do I think needs changing the most in game? There needs to be more in depth, you know, um, behind the scenes management. You know, there's a lot of emphasis focused on in race management, which is fine. I love that. Um, there's a few extra options in there that would be quite nice. You know, like I said, you know, five timings uh, as opposed to, you know, what we've got at the moment. You know, live split times for you know qualifying and hunting down gaps and stuff, uh, or seeing how you're doing against a, uh, a fastest lap, etc. Um, I would like to see uh, the ability to change liveries and stuff, but you know. The biggest thing needs to be an expansion of the uh, of the back scenes. You know, the back scene management. The, the management staff, you know, needs to be fleshed out and expanded. You know, just having, you know, two men responsible for designing the car effectively is just weak. You know, that needs fleshing out more. Um, The addition of a sporting director has been good. That's been a good in positive change. Uh, being able to really work on your pit crew as a as a whole thing. Big step forward. But there needs to be, like I said, more uh, in terms of uh, car development, you know, and uh, staff management. You know, look at actually having, you know a number of staff in every department, you know, and working towards that. Instead of just having, you know, choose how many units of merchandising you want, have a whole merchandising department, you know. Uh, have a whole department that deals with sponsorships. You know, and you have to buy, you know, hire a head of, uh, of marketing or a head of sponsorships and, and have a whole team there and you have to control the size of the team. And, and have, a, and have that factored into your expenses, etc. You know, have a whole aero team rather than just one guy who is the head of aero. Have a whole technical team rather than just one guy who's the head of technical. Could yeah, you, you have up to 10 engineers to work on parts, but yeah, that needs to be refined and improved, I think. Why is the capture the end of Nera? Because it might be the end of this series tonight. Uh, we're waiting on the results of the vote, which will happen at the end of this race. Uh, the vote has been live on the channel for a week now, on the community tab. And that will determine whether or not we stick with this or go on to a hardcore series next week. and passed by Russell, who has the DRS. We are still ahead of Stroll, and the Ferraris are dropping back. Sites down to six, and obviously Perez, after his uh, little uh, lock-up there, Copy. is down in 14th right now. Uh, overtaking is very difficult. Continue, keep going.
I'd like to see driver academies in as well. I know we've fleshed out the F2 and F3 a little bit with full simulation of their seasons this year, but I would like to have driver academies so that you can have multiple young drivers signed to your you know, academy um, while still racing in F2 and F3. So you can keep a better close, closer eye on them and call them up for the occasional testing session. Uh, or maybe to help improve their skills in the, on the race and things like that, you know, rather than just, you know, as it is at the moment with the two drivers in reserve. The game's got solid foundations, but it just needs to be built on there. Awesome. You're doing a good job. You are currently P6. So let's take a look at the replay. Now we're watching Esteban Ocon here. It's there for the taking. All right, tyres are doing okay. going to be in a fight with uh, Norris for the podium, I think. Although Stroll's not too far behind. And he's just set the fastest lap, so he's not out of the equation. So yeah, in a, in a long winded roundabout way, Jambol, what do I think needs changing most in the game? Uh, there's a whole list of things that need to be added over time. Uh, I think they have hinted that uh, Creator Team may be in next year's game. <laughs> but of course, we don't actually know if there is going to be a next year's game, given that they've just laid off a load of people and this is underperforming again this year compared to Stone's predictions. Although it's still reviewing strongly, so maybe putting it on Game Pass will help bring more players to the game and increase interest in, in the next iteration. Especially if it, if it has created a team as well, you'll, you'll see a whole flood of extra player, you know, players coming back to the game who, uh, who haven't bothered with this year's. So down to fifth place, tucked up behind Stroll and Russell, getting that battery fully charged, saving the tyres, saving the fuel, going to be patient, because it's clear we don't have Red Bull pace, and we're in a fight with these two for the podium, so let's put ourselves in a strong position for later in the race. and that has now up to 71 votes and it is still energies are good 
Looking yeah, very much like we're going to be going hardcore next week. And we're going to uh, neutral with Norris now. And Tarkbaton on, Tarkbaton on. We're almost there with Norris as well. Oh, sorry, with uh, Ocon. Gasly has uh, sprung past us. We need to get back onto Gasly, so let's uh, give Ocon some battery. He's uh, punched his way through. in front of us. a little bit with uh, Ocon because there's a chance that we can actually uh, break Sites and Gasly away from the chasing pack here. So, uh, recharge on. Copy. Not sure if we managed to get the one second there. Have a look. Oh, I think we did. Yeah, I don't see a, a rear wing open on that Ferrari. Schumacher has made his way past as well, so that suggests that uh, they did drop out of DRS range. Although Schumacher has immediately closed that gap up to the back of us, so <laughs> that train is still very much intact. We'll just hold position here for a little bit longer, get that battery back up, and then. Uh, push away in a few laps time or try and push away in a few laps time let's look at tyres you can see Norris's tyres in very good shape right now in comparison to all of the soft tyres in front <laughs> Glad you were in case of the Hamilton, is Hamilton the goat here. You, know, you didn't miss a huge amount. I said he was probably the greatest of the modern era, but you can't really compare him to the drivers of different eras because sport doesn't work that way. made a move on Stroll. He's yet to finish that move, but he made it. And in the end, he failed to make the move. Not easy to <laughs> That's okay. As long as he doesn't drop off the back of them. Oh, wow, what is going on with Yuki this, um, at the moment? He's all the way down in 20th place here. He's not. No, he hasn't. He's just way off the pace. Slower than Ricardo. Who did? Oh no! Wait, there was that collision between the two at the beginning of the race, wasn't there? That's why he's so far down. Ah, 
Ah, Schumacher's trying to get us. And has got us. Ah. And we can have a recharge on, please. So right now we're just in the uh, the long fuel burning, uh, fuel saving stage of the race, we're saving tyres and in the uh, process as well. We are due to stop on lap 30, but we are probably going to extend that a little bit. Yeah, Schumacher's has pushed past Gasly right now. Might be trying to break away as well. It's creeping up. You know what, let's um, up our Time pace. To push on these tires. Yeah. Let's get that confidence level back into our drivers and see if we can start to make some uh, some moves on track a little bit. We've got to run on Gasly. We've got to run on Schumacher here as well. If we can uh, make it stick into turn one. No. Now we might not even make this move stick. Finally, we get the move done on uh, Gasly. So now we can have a run on awesome. to uh, Schumacher here. Hey, mate. Good job. Cut to the inside. And P6 and peak confidence. Excellent stuff. Keep pushing. And Norris now is back into P3. And just short of peak confidence. But with a bit more battery still to spare. Am I watching Quali 2? Um, uh, no. Uh, I don't have... Uh, Sky TV, so I can't watch Sky F1. Uh, I will be watching the highlights though um, tomorrow because I don't do highlights tonight on Channel 4. So I'll watch the highlights tomorrow. They'll cover some of last night's or well, some of tonight's qualifying, and obviously the sprint stuff. You know, will be in there tomorrow as well. So yeah, no spoilers in chat, please. For, not just Challenge for me, one. but for anyone else who yeah, doesn't know anything yet. And recharge on. Just means I have to stay off social media for the next 24 Can hours. Plus. Yeah, all good. Keep 
it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Norris is still scrapping away with these uh, these two here. Oh, Stroll just throws it up the inside. Nice, oh, rebuild that battery again then. Charge on. Do the same there too. And recharge on. Enjoy this uh, close racing at the sharp end of the grid while you can, because uh, we're probably not going to see it for a while. <laughs> this will be the last time we're in with a sniff of podium, I think, for uh, a couple of seasons, probably. Oh, and uh, Max is in. It's a quick clean stop. Damn you. We've got mechanics that are a little bit tired, so uh, we might have some errors on our pit stops tonight. <laughs> We're going to extend. With both of our drivers, fuel saving is slowly taking effect, but not as quickly as I would have liked for this circuit here. And now Gansley jumps us. And Verstappen gets out in front of Schumacher. That's how much of a lead he had. Fastest lap for Perez. Stroll has broken away from Russell now. We're going to see a pit stop for either of these two. Yes, Stroll dives in the box. Not an amazingly quick stop, but it was clean. No mistakes. Recharge off, please. Yeah. And recharge on, recharge on. Yeah. Stay close. We haven't had any major incidents so far. We have a little coming together between uh, Sonoda and Ricardo. Or Sonado, as we uh, started to call them, inadvertently, uh, at the beginning of the race. And we had Perez lock up and clip the wall. But no safety cars, no VSCs. No chance to get some fuel saving done and build batteries back up and look at the tyres. Continue like this. Or maybe dive in and change the strategy a little bit. And 
charge button on, charge button on. Cool. Bring lock on in at the end of this lap. Okay, box. Gonna go another lap with Norris. Yeah, copy. And there's Max catching us already. Charge off, please. Copy. We want to manage our tire budget. Copy that. The menu. Okay. All right, Science is coming in behind us. Pressure stop then. Can we stay ahead of Science? 2.1, it was a quick stop, but we got held because the Ferrari got through before us. Could be closer exit. That's frustrating. Fastest stop of the Grand Prix so far, though. I can't do anything, guys. Keep concentration high. And charge button on. Confirm. And we need you to take care of the tires. Confirm. Charge button off. Cool. Land the filling. Copy. quickest of stops there 2.4 but no mistake and unless it's a safety car it's unlikely we're going to make another stop now so at least we can manage to get through without mistakes that's something oh, don't be a vsc oh, god damn it <laughs> well I'll tell you what be careful there all okay yes everyone is okay Quite a short uh, pit lane. Oh, it's a full VSC. Albon's out. There's a yellow flag now. Oh, yeah. No, stopping again then is absolutely what we're going to do. Stay positive. Cool. Try to work on the front tires. Oh, if only we'd waited another lap. <laughs> oh man, mind you, haven't said that. You know, we wouldn't then be going onto the softs, so we'd be on the mediums, but we would be further up the field, potentially. We are going to lose some places. We have to fight our way through, but. Uh, yeah, let's have a let's have a stirring fight back through the field on hopefully quicker tyres. And there will be some cars behind that still need to stop again. Uh, Schumacher's going to need to stop. Um, Leclerc and Russell are both stopping now. Gasly's going to stop. Uh, Magnussen's going to stop. Perez might stop again. Uh, Joe's going to stop. Giovinazzi's going to stop. Albon has stopped on track. And Leclerc's gone hard tyres. Ooh. Okay, that'll be durable, but that won't be quick. Let's 
2.0. That's a quick stop. Back on is out. And still high Paris. And that's another quick stop at 2.0. So we might have the fastest two stops here. And Perez has gone hard as well. Ooh, interesting. We should slow down. Confirm. Charge button <clears throat> on. Cool. No need to push the tyres. Copy. So that is everyone now boxed to the end, unless they shred their tyres or have a, a whoopsie with the barrier or another car. We are 10th and 14th, but the field's going to close up. We're going to have no fuel issues whatsoever. We're going to have very fast tyres, full batteries. We could make some serious moves here. And we've got a compound advantage over almost all the cars in front. Just Gasly and Schumacher on the same compound of tyre in front of us there. And then Magnussen also in front of Ocon. He should be able to jump Perez on the restart very quickly. And De Vries shouldn't put up much of a fight either. Nor was Magnussen really, come to think of it. So yeah, we can get our drivers up through the field, hopefully pretty quickly, get them into peak confidence and maybe have the pace to actually challenge the Red Bulls if we can get onto them quickly. Not over yet. And the more laps we do behind these safety car, the better our chances are of making these soft tyres competitive towards the end of the race as well. are going to have a little delay as well because Sonoda and Ricardo have been lapped. So there'll be a delay while we wait for A, the grid to form up, which has just about happened, and then B, wait for the uh, notification for lap cars to unlap themselves. So we've got at least one more lap of the same car, maybe two. So let's have a review of the running order while we wait for unlapped, unlapping to uh, you know, commence. Uh, it's Verstappen from Leclerc, then Russell Stroll. Schumacher is in fifth place. 
real role re of reversal with the two Williams drivers. Sonoda was looking so strong for so so long, and it was Schumacher at the back of the grid, and now it's the other way round for the two Williams drivers. Very strange, that. Uh, then it's Gasly in sixth, then Sainz in seventh, Bottas eighth, Porsche ninth. First of our cars, Lando Norris is in tenth place, then Magnussen, De Vries, Perez, Ocon, Joe, Giovinazzi, Duan, Ricardo, and Sonoda in 19th. Obviously, Albon retired, which brought out the BSC after he uh, parked it in the middle of the track. And still, we have not had the notification to let lapped cars through. I'm imagining it's going to happen pretty quickly, and then if it happens in the next sector or so, we might go racing at the end of this lap. Otherwise, we could be looking at yet another lap behind the safety car. And all that glorious fuel that's building up in our cars means we can really push our braking pace for the rest of the race. Or, you know, for a good chunk of the race, if not the rest of it. And there we go. So there is the notification. Lap so, lap Sonoda's through. And so is Ricardo. They are off. And they will scamp around so we can expect the safety car in at the end of this lap. getting another lap I think we're getting another lap wow okay we are we are getting another lap of the safety car this is doing our our tires a massive power of good and it's possible these two may even actually be able to get close to rejoining the back of the train Guys, safety car is ending. And for the restart, it will just be recharge off. Okay. If you can push. Okay. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. Confirm. Press overtake. Copy that. And against the odds, they have almost made it. There's the queue. The they have made it. Wow.
Ah, get pushed wide by Magnuson. So much for him not putting up a threat. Keep pushing. Got a yellow flag. Now we should be able to take uh, a look. Of course, here. Debris has a lockup. Okay, so that we've is, got uh, Things are okay at this that stage. Is his thing. The brakes couldn't cope, and they ended up their own passenger. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Car braking physics there. On. Confirm. And recharge on. Okay. We're clearly not going to get through until the DRS kicked in, so we're just going to save the battery. I'm going to go one better. I'm actually going to try and rebuild it as recharge well. Recharge on. Copy that. Our confidence levels uh, below starting because we just got overtaken and above starting. Nice. We're actually setting new personal best uh, sectors right now. Oh, no, you don't, Perez. Charge button on. Yeah, confirm. Charge on. Yeah, confirm. Be careful with the tires. Okay. Let the tires come back to you. Copy. And we can recharge the pumps. Yep. DRS enabled. Deployed, deployed. Can use overtake. Copy up. 59 laps to go. That is 10th place back from Magnuson. Porsche are up next. Might get a run on sites under the braking here. The lap. Not quite. Okay, mate, that is the fastest lap. Okay. Bottas is vulnerable. He's dropped off sites. Here's a chance for Rock on up the inside of Perez or around the outside of Perez. Move is done. Can we get a move on Magnuson as well? No. We're going to top up. Let's calm those tyres down now. Recharge on. We did get past Porsche. I missed that. Let's take a look at the replay. Here we are going into turn nine. There's the opening. Oh yeah, Porsche tried to make a move, left himself open on the inside, and we just no swept sense. through. Oh, thank to you very much. much. And recharge on now is okay, please. And 
just a reminder on your eyes. We're going to get Bottas here as well. On. 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 There we go. Full confidence for Lando Norris. Good stuff. Let's get up the sights. with this tyre. And try to increase pushing status. And recharge on is OK, please. Bottas. Probably not, but if I can at least get onto the back of sights. Not going to get him here, but maybe at the uh, hairpin. Make sure I get DRS for there. go and I might just have dropped Bottas actually keep an eye on that rear wing does it open up yes it does so we didn't quite get him but we did get DRS here which was vital Sights and stroll fighting that should slow them down a bit Both our drivers in uh, a lot of confidence right now. Paul Scher and Bottas fighting. Paul Scher's got the move done. Again, I kind of let Norris just slip a little bit, keep pushing, get me back in. And we need to charge uh, Ocon on. is ready to make a move on uh, Valtteri. And overtake is available. Get him. Yes. And charge button on. Charge button on. Still scrapping away. So uh, recharge on. We're not going to make the move stick, so I'll let Bottas retake the position and then we'll get the DRS on the back straight. We we'll hope we don't get passed by Sainz in the process. Not Sainz, sorry, Perez. No, nope, Perez keeps him behind us. It's good. That's what we wanted. Uh, 
and protect ourselves between Stroll and Sites. Oh no, it's because we've just got past Bottas. Porsche has pulled away, so we need to uh, push with everything we've got with Ocon here for a moment. Try and get on the back of uh, Porsche and Stroll. And charge button on, charge button on. And recharge on, recharge on. We want to manage our tyre budget. Ah, damn it. Stroll's going to get the DRS off us. And we are just out of range of sights, so we're going to be vulnerable. On to get back onto the group, though. Recharge on then, please. Again, we're going to give up position so we can uh, rebuild the battery. We've got Ocon back into the train. Keep doing it like this. Still looking after those tyres. 21 laps, including this one, so 20 laps to go at the end of this lap. Tires are in very good shape. In better shape than some of the medium ones. Still hold the fastest lap as well. got some battery we can push Norris past Stroll onto sites maybe get ourselves into the mix with a view to working our way up to Gasly there are only three seconds off the Red Bulls at the moment so still plenty to play for Needed. Yeah, 
fact, this could actually be a golden opportunity to uh, try and break away from Stroll. After your times like this, and then you just turn everything on, it's amazing how much faster you can suddenly go. We're already on the DRS of uh, sites. Take it easy there. Ah, damn it, Perez nabbed us. We'll uh, keep charging. It's not like we're pushed for time. We've got plenty of uh, laps left to uh, move back through the field. And as soon as we do get him pushing, he will fly through. Just going to make sure can we, can we stay in that DRS, points? though. Button on. Ah, we lost it. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Deployed, deployed. Charge button on. Wow, Perez is on a flyer right now. Look at that, he's got past Porsche and Stroll. Perez on the move. No need to push the tires. Yeah. Recharge on. Copy. We need charge button on, charge button on. Save as much fuel. Copy. That uh, spare fuel didn't last anywhere near as long as I thought it would. <laughs> we burnt that off quick. Charge it off. Copy. Press overtake. Copy. Damn it. Out of range. lean into this and just try and uh, move Ocon up a place or two. Yeah, God damn it. Paris nabbed us. Yeah, We're playing a little bit too yeah. conservative these last few laps and it's starting to cost us. Continue. Keep going. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. Okay, I'll have that position back. Thank you very much. Whoa, what a lunge from Perez there. I managed to see him off, but wow, that was uh, very late on the brakes there. Six 
place for Norris. Ah, we got boxed. We got boxed in. And now we've lost the place again. Keep fighting. 15 laps to go now. Time is now starting to tick away from us. It's getting very crowded behind us as well. Schumach is definitely uh, the cork in the bottle at the moment. Take care of the tyres. Big lifts. Copy. And recharge on now is OK, Chris. Yeah. Evening, Derek. Hopefully not the end of the save. Well, this save will continue in one form or another, but you know, it won't be the main for the moment because that uh, because the main focus of, of the channel um, of, the, uh, of the series going forward. Because it is looking very much like we're going to be restarting on Monday. But I will keep working this file in the background and I'll post some update videos to let you know how the season would have turned out. Mick was the defender. Mick is now busted. As, as long as we can hold him back here. But yeah, that is uh, a big old train that's been stuck behind uh, Schumacher. Charge on is okay, please. Yeah. What's a little frustrating is I don't have the battery to break away from Schumach at the moment, so I'm just dragging this whole train <laughs> towards Russell, which is not good. Just going to make it harder and harder for Rockon to uh, try and move his way up the field. save a bit of battery where I can here with uh, Norris. And charge button on, charge button on. Breakaway is the only way I'm going to drop her. So uh, let's let Mick get through. So we can get DRS off the back straight. And he's not going to get us here. Now he's going to get us in the worst possible position. He's going to get us with the DRS. Now we're vulnerable to Gasly as well. And that's Gazza going through. Great. And reach 
charge on. Copy. All right, so we're back into a fight with Russell for the podium now. The Rebels are too far ahead for us to do anything. Uh, yeah, it's just been very much harder to move through the field than I thought it was going to be. Unfortunately. This is the, um, the evidence of uh, harder racing in, in action here. Haven't been able to cut our way through the traffic like we normally do. And charge button on. Yep. All right. Gasly is through. That might help us in the long run, actually. Schumach has been dropped. And now we're going to go for it. Oh, damn it. Archon's been dropped as well. God damn it. Six of one half a dozen of the other. So now we can break away from Schumacher. And then hopefully we can just springboard our way straight past Gasly as well. And uh, the two of us can then close it to Russell. Which will give me a chance to get the battery recharged for a final attack for that podium spot. Don't know what I can do with Esteban here. Field isn't spaced out as much as I thought it was going to be. They're just still so tight, just making it so hard to not just take the positions, but then hold on to them once you do grab them. Yeah, we are through past Gasly already, and we've still got a bit of battery left, so we're going to keep on pushing. All right, we're up past Stroll. Yeah, Schumacher is just falling down the order now. And we dropped Gasly as well. Excellent stuff. So let's go into top up. Let's drop the tyres down. Let's go into fuel save. Well, not fuel save, but fuel neutral. Finally, we've started to make the breakthroughs that we were looking to make earlier. Let the tyres come back to you. Press overtake. Did I just hear someone in the pits? I could have sworn I just had a pit gun going then. There's nobody in the box. No one's got fresh tyres on. Gasly is coming with us. Schumacher is trying to hang on to the back of Perez. Just hoping that Schumacher would get dropped before the DRS zone, but he didn't. But he will not make the next one. To this double DRS here. Russell is doing 114.4s. 114.3. 
14-7 for Norris because he's under pressure. Off on past Schumacher here. And overtake is available. If you can push. Recharge. On. Don't make the move, don't make the move. Not Mick. There we go. We'll get DRS on Mick here. We should have a line on the inside of the uh, corner as well. No, maybe not. But now we are going to break Ocon through. Time to push on these tyres. Go after okay. Perez. There's Russell. There's our podium. Tantalisingly in front. And look how quickly Perez has closed up to us. The Ferrari is very quick. clear of Schumacher but Sainz is lining up for a move so he'll be closing in on the back of us in a moment just trying to squeeze as much extra advantage out of Norris's car as I possibly can for the uh, final push onto Russell a little bit of extra tyre saving, get a little bit of extra fuel, get that battery as high as I can. Watching out for Perez, trying to have a, a poke up the inside as well. I think I might have reached the limit with Ocon. I don't think I can get him onto the back of this fight. Damn it, damn it. So increase pushing status. Okay, go for it. Nothing I can do until the next lap. Until Perez gets clear of Gasly now. I can just stay with him. looking a bit tricky. Four laps to go. go I don't even know if I can get onto Russell now. So deployed, deployed. Second, go no lift off. Perez needed. is going to make the move on Gasly here. I need to try and follow that through go as quickly man. as possible. Get myself ahead of uh, Gasly at the hairpin. How is Ocon? He's a solid, dependable driver. Uh, doesn't have the pace of Norris. Um, but, you know, he is pretty quick. Depending on who you're pa pairing him with, if you're in a lower team, he'll make an excellent first driver. If you're in a top team with a strong first driver, he'll make an excellent number two is what he is to uh, to Norris at the moment. Three laps 
to go. Oh no, you don't, Gasly. No, you don't. No, you don't. You French kid. Right, let's concentrate. Charge button on. Charge button on. Yeah. Okay. He'll make an excellent number two to George then. Charge button on. Go for him. And charge button on. Yep, confirm. God, Schumacher's pushed onto the back of uh, Ocon again. Keep doing it like this. <coughs> Two laps to go. Not easy to overtake. Continue. Keep Don't going. Let through. Don't let Gasly through. I said, don't let him through. God damn it. Fourth. And that's if I can get back into DRS on Perez here. Just about. Charge button on. And charge button on, please. Okay. Yeah, confirm. Now, given the pace of the cars that we've been fighting with, I don't think we would be as strong as we are if we'd stayed out on those mediums. I think the soft tyre cars would have pushed past us and the Ferrari of uh, Paris would definitely push past us. then the fourth place and we need to increase all right we got fourth just well did we yes we did <laughs> <laughs> and Ocon in the end managed to hold off the uh, the fight back from Schumacher and co because he brought some friends with him as you can see <laughs> wow yeah hard hard race that very hard and if that safety car had come a lap or two earlier it would have been golden um, I think because um, we wouldn't have had to make that second stop but I don't know. Yeah, if it had come a bit later, I don't know whether I would have made the stop. I'm, I, I think we made the right choice for strategy. Uh, immediately boxing again for uh, the soft having just put on the mediums. Um, and fourth and seventh is a pretty strong result considering you know just how much quicker those Red Bulls were. And they weren't that far off Russell. We just struggled a little bit. What a race that was. And there, of course, we see Lance Stroll heading in. Just managing a finish in the points, having crossed the line in 10th. 
Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. And he's going to put Max Still back at the top of the, of the championship. Has to leave them and the team feeling confident. Plenty of smiles for the cameras as the drivers can let off some steam here in Montreal. Now, Karun, with that result in mind, what would they be feeling like down at McLaren? They did OK today, I'd say. I mean, we're talking about such a competitive field. And all things considered, the drivers did all right. Oh, that's very magnanimous of you there, Karun. Thank you. That's it for this weekend's F1 action here in Montreal. Next time, the teams will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Styrian Forest. The Austrian... Or will they? <laughs> Right, well, there we go. That is confirmation of the final result. Uh, a strong race for George, and he climbs two places to get the final spot on the podium behind Max and Charles. Norris in fourth, but does get the fastest lap. And uh, Ocon stayed seventh. Uh, good result for Gasly. Good result for Schumacher. Ferrari's a little disappointing. Uh, Stroll just about hanging on for points in his home Grand Prix. Uh, Paul Cher gaining a place, but missing out on points by less than four tenths. Uh, good race for Joe, up five places. Magnussen gaining three. Doohan gaining four. Uh, disappointing race for De Vries. More lockup trouble for him. Sonoda having that little collision with uh, Ricardo certainly ruined his chances of getting anything out of the Grand Prix. And Albon uh, decided to uh, pinball his car off the wall and park it in the middle of the track, which brought out the safety car. So see what that does to the drivers championship uh, max retakes top stop uh, top step of the uh, championship by nine points from lando uh, charles stays in third uh, he is a little bit way off the front two there uh, but comfortably clear of perez who gets another strong result so that moves him up to fourth place ahead of science in the standings uh, Ocon stays in sixth, but does close down sights just a little bit. Russell makes huge strides, jumping over Gasly to get within three points of Ocon now. Uh, is his season finally starting to come to life a little bit? Uh, and can he mount a late defence of his championship? Uh, we shall see. Uh, Gasly dropping a place is in eighth but does pick up some points. No points for either of the uh, Alex Albon or Yuki Tsunoda. Stroll gains a point. Schumacher gains four very important points for him. That actually jumps him above Teo Porsche. Uh, Magnussen doesn't get any points, nor does Giovinazzi. That is everybody else. And let's see what the constructors looks like. Red Bull with a uh, 43 point haul from today's race. That puts them 52 points clear of us at the top of the table. Uh, Ferrari in third place, uh, too far behind to really threaten us at the moment. Uh, and they do edge away from Alpine a little bit further. Some strong points for Mercedes. We'll see them going after Alpine for fourth place in the championship. Uh, and Williams fend off um, any kind of movement from Aston Martin there, stretching their gap up to five. Still Haas with seven, Alfa Romeo with six, and Alfa Tauri yet to score. In terms of the pit stops, it was Charles Leclerc with the fastest stop at 2.007. That's a very quick stop. Uh, and then we had second and third uh, sandwiched between uh, the second Red Bull of Max. And then we have uh, Russell in fifth, Aston Martins Magnussen in sixth, the two Ferraris seventh and eighth, Alpha Tauri in ninth, and Porsche in tenth. Let's see what that does to those standings. Uh, we see... Uh, 270 points for Red Bull. They are comfortably clear of us and extend their gap by another four. We are comfortably clear of Mercedes, who are comfortably clear of Ferrari. And then it gets a little bit more condensed. Aston Martin in fifth place uh, are 22 points clear of Alpine. And Alpha Tauri are uh, closing Alpine down, just five points behind them now. Then it's Williams, Alfa Romeo and Haas yet to get any points in the competition see how our drivers did uh, 14 overtakes 16 failed 21 successful defenses and 10 failed for Ocon good afternoon's work for him 
and Norris 21 successful overtakes, 15 failed, 35 successful defences and 16 failed. Pretty strong afternoon for him as well. And don't forget, some of those failed uh, 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 defences for the, our drivers were deliberate to allow a car to get in front so we could charge up behind them. Uh, so theoretically, they could have done a little bit better, uh, but they probably wouldn't have finished as far up the field as they did. Uh, in terms of our sponsors, once again, we pay out uh, a really weird bonus for Ocon for finishing in the top 13. Uh, 175 grand for Norris, and we complete our sponsor objectives, which nets us uh, a total of 4.5 after deductions. Not bad. The front wing design is complete. And so is the side pod research. And that is it potentially for this series let's take a look at the poll results let's go to the uh, community tab and have a little look-see okay so with 71 votes in it is 62% to start over with hardcore and 38% to stay with McLaren. So uh, we will be ending this series tonight in live stream form. I will still pump out a few videos just to finish this season off, um, but they will be uh, a little bit different. Uh, they might be quite short as well, uh, but I will put out some updates to finish this storyline of season off, and I'll put those into a playlist uh, after these live streams. Uh, we will start a brand new hardcore series on Monday uh, and that will be a choice of just two teams so I'm going to take McLaren out of the equation uh, and it will be either uh, Alpha Tauri or Alpha Romeo I personally am leaning towards Alpha Tauri but it's obviously not my vote it's your vote uh, so uh, I'll throw up a poll once this stream is done you guys can head over to the community tab and uh, place your uh, place your vote as to which of those two alpha teams we will be starting with next season uh, let me give you a, a little visual indicator as to the difference between the two teams so if we save our progress on the McLaren file here and head back to the main menu if we go to new career one. And skip through the waffle. Red Bull took the F1. Well, so that Alpha Romeo is showed off their fighting spirit. Alpha Tauri, there they are sixth in terms of drive performance, and that's mainly down to Bottas. So they've got a very strong first driver and a, a so so second driver. Uh, staff performance is ninth out of ten, headquarters is ninth out of ten, car is tenth out of ten. Uh, Alpha Tauri. It was a disappointing uh, end. Have a little bit better uh, staff and headquarters, but their car performance is only marginally better than the Alfa Romeo, and they do have a worse driver lineup. So, uh, very close between the two. It will be up to you which of those two teams that we actually uh, take on. You know, uh, I will put the poll up, as I say, when the stream finishes, and have a, have a think about it and uh, cast your vote over the weekend. On Monday, we'll go live at 8 o'clock in the evening, and it will be whichever of those two teams you have chosen. Uh, also, uh, I am thinking for Halloween, uh, which is, uh, what, 11 days away, I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a live stream of Alien Isolation um, in its entirety because I still need to get my platinum trophy on that and I need to just basically do a run without a recorded death which means they'll be we're doing it on easy with a lot of reloading saves if we get eaten by the alien uh, but what do you guys think of that would you be interested in seeing uh, an alien isolation live stream for Halloween uh, let me know I know we did a, a, a series on it years ago um, quality wasn't as good it kept getting a bit fuzzy now we get to do it in proper you know 1080p HD and, uh, and yeah, it'll be an attempt at a platinum trophy from start to finish of the game. So have a think about that as well. Uh, and let me know in the comments 
um, whether or not that's something you would like to see. Uh, we've still got some time to make that decision. Uh, so that is it for tonight. And as I say, that is it for our McLaren playthrough in live stream form. And we'll keep posting little updates on the McLaren file to the end of that season. Uh, just so you can see what would have happened if we toughed it out. But it will be between Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri next season. I personally would prefer Alfa Tauri, but it's your decision. Uh, poll will go live uh, in about five minutes or so, and I will see you all with some more F1 Manager on Monday. <laughs>